Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to show you how do I propagate my succulents the fastest way. So stick around! So what do we need for this method? We will be needing alcohol, our weapon of choice which is my reliable cutter, my chopstick, dental floss, Veria Fred Ives, which is getting etiolated and getting heavy. My topsy turvy is having some babies at the bottom, however, the head is blocking the lights for the babies to grow. Uh, next is my Akai Hosi, which is getting etiolated, and my Ichiberia Elegance, which is now skirting, as you can see. I have one elegance here that I just beheaded a few weeks ago which has a lot of babies and has um, compact growth which I want to have the same result. Let's start with sanitizing our weapon of choice. Go. And did I tell you that my fastest um, propagation method of choice is beheading or cutting which we just did with our topsy-turvy as you can see here there you go see what happened to the mummy one head down let's quickly get a brush Put some of our cinnamon powder in. So we will be putting cinnamon powder on the cut at the mummy because this will encourage healing. The mother plant should be placed in bright, indirect sunlight. And um, refrain from watering for at least a week. Next one on our beheading list is our Akai Hosi. And we should be doing the same thing as what we did with our Tapsi Turkey. There you go. Another head down. I have to remove the tag because the tag is wrong. cinnamon powder to encourage healing to the mother plant this also stays under bright indirect sunlight and next one is this huge Fred Ives I just need to reposition my hands so that I don't have to put a lot of Hand marks. There you go. Another head down. Okay, let's put another cinnamon powder onto one that had leaf came off. You know what, guys? Don't be afraid to cut your succulents. Because they are like humans, you know. The more you get hurt, the more you will rise and become stronger and beautiful. Just like that. Now this one also stays under bright, indirect sunlight for at least a week. So next is my elegance. As you can see, it's skirting. And I will show you a better way. This is where that clean dental floss comes in. 
you just have to wrap it around the skirting part or where you need to cut the succulent just have to make sure you are getting all the leaves under opposite side and the thing will just snap there you go a clean cut one head down see if you can see there it's a clean cut for our elegance sideways so that it's gonna be a clean pluck again so that we can still propagate these leaves so nothing really goes to waste in here the goal here is to have at least half an inch or an inch for we can stick the head to the soil now let's brush the bottom part with our cinnamon powder because this promotes roots and also a good substitute for rooting hormone and we will do the same thing with our Akai Hosi brush 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 same with our Topsy Turvy brush 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 with cinnamon let's remove the bottom leaves of our Fred Ives as well brush it with our cinnamon now we'll just have to get our pots our net to prevent our soil from going down the drainage hole and for my soil I use 80% of premium succulent mix and 20% of pumice or lava rack or perlite whichever is available during that moment there you go and now we have to poke a hole onto the soil and nothing goes to waste so we will also put a little bit of our cinnamon powder at the hole because this serves as fungicide and insecticide goes our Fred Ives head there you go just like that now we have another plant to the collection we'll do the same with the rest of the heads that we have in here I need to change the pot because it's a little bigger but this one is a little way better than the other one start planting again nothing goes to waste <laughs> there you go Akai Horsi is done elegance is done and topsy turvy is done refrain from watering these babies for at least five to ten days and place them under bright indirect sunlight so these leaves can also be propagated for whichever method of your choice it can be the soil propagation or water propagation so nothing really goes to waste Thank you for watching everyone, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share.